hip-hop feuds are nothing new, but no one has had quite as many fights as Jay-Z. With a reported net worth of $810 million in 2017, Jay's successful career spans over four decades and features plenty of rap beef. Here are some celebrities who haven't exactly seen eye to eye with the Brooklyn rapper over the years. Solange Knowles In what remains one of the most explosive celebrity fights on record, Jay-Z was physically attacked by his wife's sister, Solange Knowles, who, according to TMZ, was wildly kicking and swinging at him inside an elevator, following the 2014 Met Gala after-party in NYC. A few days later, the trio issued a joint statement to the Associated Press, saying, Jay and Solange each assume their share of responsibility for what has occurred. They both acknowledge their role in this private matter that has played out in the public. They both have apologized to each other and we have moved forward as a united family. Drake Despite collaborating in 2009, the rap mogul and Canadian star have had a tumultuous relationship, to say the least. When Drake's Thank Me Later dropped in 2010, the pair left fans puzzled. They collaborated on the song Light Up, but just a few tracks later, Drake was dissing his idol on Thank Me Now, rapping, That's around the time that your idols become your rivals. Fast forward to 2014 when Drake told Rolling Stone, It's like Hove can't drop bars these days without at least four art references. I think the whole rap art world thing is getting kind of corny. Nas Before they ever collaborated, Jay and Nas spent an entire decade feuding in what was a battle for the ages. After taking several jabs at one another, Jay seemingly went too far when he declared he had a fling with Carmen Bryant, the mother of Nas's daughter, during a 2001 freestyle dubbed Supa Ugly, and Jay's mom reportedly told her son to apologize. He did, reportedly saying, I want to apologize to Carmen and any females I may have offended. In 2005, the pair officially buried the hatchet. That year, Jay staged a concert he called I Declare War and used it to do the opposite, declaring peace with Nas, signing him to Def Jam, and performing with him on stage. Robert De Niro Oscar-winning actor Robert De Niro and Jay-Z may not seem like the most obvious pair to run in the same circles, but the two did cross paths at Leonardo DiCaprio's birthday party in 2012, and their encounter didn't go over too well. You talking to me? According to Page Six at the time, when Jay went to say hello to the Hollywood legend, De Niro called him out for being disrespectful and not returning any of his calls, despite previously agreeing to record a song for De Niro's Tribeca Film Festival. An insider claimed, Bob wasn't in any mood to make polite conversation. He told Jay that if somebody calls you six times, you call them back. It doesn't matter who you are, that is just rude. Kanye West Another one of Jay's biggest adversaries is former friend and collaborator Kanye West, who seemed at first to be on Team Jay. Until, that is, he went on an unexpected rant during a 2016 concert in San Jose, slamming Jay for not reaching out after Kim Kardashian's Paris robbery ordeal. He then turned on Beyonce, saying, Beyonce, I was hurt because I heard that you said you wouldn't perform unless you won video of the year over me at the VMAs. We are all equal, but sometimes we be playing the politics too much and forget who we are just to win. In an August 2017 interview, Jay revealed the strain their relationship is now under. Well, you brought my family into it. Now that's a problem with me. That's a real, real problem. Fat Joe. In the late 90s, there was plenty of speculation about a feud brewing between Jay and Fat Joe, CEO of Terror Squad Entertainment, including accounts of Jay getting hit on the head with a champagne bottle at a nightclub. It was bad blood between, you know, Rockefeller and Terror Squad for a long time. And next thing I know, I seen Nas or Jay-Z. You know, I felt, you know, I felt abandoned. I felt like, wow. It all seems to be water under the bridge now, however, as Fat Joe signed a management deal with Jay's Rock Nation in January 2017. Birdman. On an episode of Tropical TV back in 2009, Birdman made an appearance to hype up his music and crew, including Lil Wayne. When the interviewer asked his thoughts on Jay-Z being voted the number one MC by MTV, he didn't mince words. I don't think he's the number one MC. Wow, okay. In no Wayne. kind of way. Wayne the best, he do the most, and he make the most money. Thanks for watching. Click the Nikki Swift icon to subscribe to our YouTube channel. Plus, check out all this cool stuff we know you'll love too.